Hey everyone, this is Mike Boggs, Striker System Sales Manager. In this feature video, I want to show you some of the tools available in SS Punch for common edge punching. Of course, we offer common edge nesting for both cutting and punching applications, but in this video, I want to focus on the many tools that allow you to quickly and easily punch common edges between parts regardless of whether the parts were interactively placed or auto nested on the sheet. I'll start with one part placed on the sheet and with a right click of the mouse select the I nest copy command to create some duplicates. Next, while hovering over a tool at the end of the edge that I want to common line punch, I'll again do a right click and select the common line part pairing command. Then, by picking the adjacent edge, the part is shifted and the edges are shared. The common line part pairing command should be used when you want the ends of the selected parts to precisely line up. In this case, I'll auto tab the parts using a bow tie tab tool so you can see the common line punched edges being tabbed. Next, we'll look at a similar command, the common line part mirroring. If you have a part that is conducive to being mirrored, you can now use this command to mirror the part across a punched edge to create a common line punch. And now for the last of our right click commands, we'll use the common line perpendicular move command. This command should be used when you want to create a common line punch where the two edges will not necessarily line up at the end, such as here where I have two edges that are not the same length. Using the common line perpendicular move command allows me to perform a perpendicular move of the selected part to create the common punched edge. You can also create common punched edges during the initial automatic punching process. I'm going to create a 3x3 grid of this part, and notice the distance between rows is a quarter inch, the same as my parting tool. Now using the quick punch command I'll window the entire layout and we see that each of the edges spaced a quarter inch apart are common punched. To show you the flexibility of SS Punch I'm going to duplicate this process of creating a grid, but this time the part I'm starting with has already been tool fit. So when I grid I have this toggle include tool hits when calculating part location. This toggle determines whether the distance between parts is measured from the edge of the parts or from the edge of the tools on the parts that are already tool fit. I want to make sure this toggle is disabled because I want one quarter inch between parts. The result of this is that I have punch cycles on top of each other. If you ever find yourself in this situation, you can simply use the SS punch or quick punch command to repunch the layout and SS punch will recognize and clean up the common edges. A new feature added in SS Nest 2020 is automatic common edge part nesting. This is controlled on a part to part basis and allows a part to be automatically common line punched with itself when multiple instances of the part are included in a nest. The allow common line toggle can be enabled through the part share interface. Also within a nest kit you can edit a part that's already been added to the kit to enable or disable the allow common line toggle. When the nest is calculated, there's a new common line option in the nest calculation options. You'll see first of all two part common line, two additional settings are the width of the parting tool, and a setting to control the minimum length of edges that can be common line paired. With common line enabled, all parts with the common line toggle on will be paired as possible with a parting tool width between them. This layout can then be inserted and processed with the SS Punch or Quick Punch command to create the common edge punched layout. That concludes our video on some of the common edge punch features found in SS Punch. Be sure to keep an eye out for additional Striker feature videos.